All right, welcome back to Josh Does Life. Today is plant day. I'm very excited about this because I'm going outside of my normal and the things that I'm used to. Uh, if you've been following my channel and videos, then you know that we set up the 36 gallon for my son and we have some plants in it, but that tank isn't really, it's not what I would call aquascaped. Uh, it's basically just kind of stuck some random and various type plants in there, so to speak. I did, of course, a little bit of research on each of the plants that I used, but you know, it's really, it doesn't stick to a theme and it's not consistent or anything like that. But I just tried to make it so it does look appealing, but mainly for him. So he's really happy with it so far. Uh, the fish are doing very well and we will do future updates on that. We're gonna unbox all these. Now, all of these plants came from Live Aquaria. I have some expensive plants that's the first time I've ever dealt with or used them. Um, the reason that I've done that is just to try them out and see if they're any better or have any other value to them or how well they perform. So we're gonna check those out. Uh, the box here that says Dr. Foster and Smith, uh, that's also from Live Aquaria. That's just one of their, I guess, standard plants that they carry. I don't know if they do the propagation and all that stuff within their system or if they order from overseas or a wholesaler. I, I'm not sure how that works. But anyway, we have, I think, one plant that's just kind of a regular one, and the rest of them are the Tropica brand plants. So we're going to get these unboxed. I have this plastic tabletop that goes to one of my son's Lego tables. Kind of put everything out on this so we don't spill any water. Uh, most of these videos, I, I actually, I don't have an office really or anything. So most of these videos I do in this room, like on the bed. Uh, one, because I have this one quarantine tank in the room and two, um, with all the other commotion that goes on in my house, you know, I always have, uh, kids and stuff making noise and that type thing and TVs on and tablets on and everything else so there's always a lot of noise so this is kind of a uh, quiet room that I could come to and do these videos also if you are new to my channel I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe I have a very low subscriber base I really want to work on building it up and it would mean a lot to me I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel uh, like the videos, you know, by doing that, then it kind of bumps up the videos in the uh, the scheme of things with YouTube so that more people are likely to see it. You know, the more likes it gets, that's my understanding how it works. So I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more videos and updates on tanks and things and plants and experiences that I have with them. So stick it out with me and we'll see what happens. All right, let's start unboxing these. So this one is just the, I guess, average Joe plant that I ordered from Live Aquaria. And I've mentioned before, the majority of all the fish and corals and live rock and plants, everything that I've dealt with, most everything comes from Live Aquaria. I think, you know, I'm not sponsored by them. I've just always used them and I've never had any issues with them. Any issues that I have, they have terrific customer service. So they always take care of it. So a little bit of promotion for them. I have a brown paper bag in here and I have no idea why. Let's see. Just a warning here and some information. Do not release any plants or animals into lakes and streams. Apparently uh, there's a lot of issues with that. Let's see what this is. Uh, they actually give a uh, live aquarium step-by-step -step planting instructions for freshwater plants. That's kind of neat. It has, you know, different variations of plants and how best to plant them. So that's kind of neat that it does come with that. And all the plants that I have so far have come from uh, Aquarium Co-op. Awesome job. I love their plants. I like everything that they do. I watch the channel. Uh, a lot of information there. Corey's been doing this stuff for a number of years. Um, he's 
my go-to or as far as going to a channel for information but I'm kind of doing my thing on the channel and hoping that well one I'm doing these videos because I like watching variety and different people doing videos talking about aquariums and hobbies and things like that so I know there's other people out there that probably do the same thing and then two everybody kind of has their own way of doing things and and this type of stuff there's differences and variations so hopefully maybe you can look at the things i get and the things i'm doing and gain some knowledge by it uh, get some useful information or even maybe it's just that you see what not to do you know it might end up like that so let's see what we got here this one's wrapped up pretty well it's got a heat pad in this one but it doesn't have it's not in a styrofoam box i don't think this one's going to be maybe as delicate a plant sorry for all the noise wow lots of layers wrapping <laughs> layer after layer wow let's see if we can get to the plant that is a lot of material and wrapping for a single plant. All right, get this stuff out of the way. Take a look at what we have here. And as I'm opening these, I'm hoping that they have the names of them, of them inside because I have a hard time with some of these plant names. Some of them are interesting. Some of them I, I'm learning as I go. But some of them I'm not really sure. Okay, it does. So this is a narrow leaf chain sword. And I'm going to lay all of them out on this for now. And uh, when I get them all out, then I'll zoom the camera in, let you take a look like a close-up of them. And after that, uh, my practice is, uh, what I like to do, I get a bowl of aquarium water and rinse all the plants kind of just you know shake them around in the water get anything that might be stuck on them loose let's go ahead and finish opening this so it's kind of like in a plastic here whereas when you order from Corey it's almost like a paper towel material that I really like he does an awesome job in shipping plants And all of these are going to the new tank that I'm starting up. It's the, uh, if you've been watching so far, it's the 40 gallon breeder tank. And I basically, I did some research and looking around and everything that I, I've ordered for it, I believe are gonna be foreground plants. And by that, I mean, they don't get too big. I don't want the new 40 gallon to look like a jungle. I want it to look more simplistic, I guess. And I just don't want a lot of high growth. So I think everything that I've purchased here uh, stays under six inches, I believe, six to eight. So it doesn't get huge. Anything, if it said on the uh, description that it got up to a foot, I just stayed away from it. I also tried to stay away from plants that seem to be fast growing, but being my limited knowledge base on aquarium plants, um, I'm not necessarily sure that's what I've got. Okay, our packing list. Let's just go over what we've got real quick here, <laughs> even if I can say these names. All right, in this box are all Tropica plants. They're the all the one to grow. Uh, the first one, <laughs> let's see if I can say these. Uh, Eleocarus Alcicillaris mini. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Helanthium tenellum green or Tonellus green. Hydrocotyl tripartita, maybe. Um, then the other, let's see. 
Starogen reopens or repens. Repens. Not sure. And Veza Kularia Weeping. And that was gonna be the moss type one that I purchased to kind of go on top of a piece of the wood that I have to kind of simulate a tree in the aquarium. We'll see how it goes. Haven't done anything like that so far. We'll see. Okay, I have the all the live aquaria stuff, information, acclimation, drip methods, all that type stuff. They load you up with information. Ah, oh boy. And they filled this with styrofoam peanuts. Let's see. Let's see if I can just dump some of those out. Peanuts are a wonderful thing. Keep these guys from breaking and bouncing around everywhere. But at the same time, they're annoying to dig through. Okay. Didn't get all of them out, but got most of them. Oh, these are really neat. Now, I've noticed before when I've watched other videos, and most of the time when I see the Tropica brand when I see people unbox them open them and use them most of the time it, it seems that it's um, The Europeans that are using these I, I think they're really big overseas uh, I'm sure they're big here as well since live Aquarius sells them and they're sold in the United States You know, they wouldn't sell them if they weren't popular but the with the price point on these I'm not sure if you really gain a lot, but we'll see. We're going to try this out. This is something new. So all these come in little cups, which does make it fairly easy, I guess. Okay, let me spread all these out, and what I'll do is I'll bring the camera around this side and zoom in on them a little bit so you can see what we have going on. Now it's my understanding these cups, and we'll see if it says, I'm sure it has like instructions on the back of them. I think these are just grown in a, a gel. And I believe all you have to do is just rinse it off. So I guess we're just gonna rinse them around in the in a bowl of aquarium water. Oh, good mini of And when you order these from Live Aquaria, the default or standard, the only way that I know of that you can get them, um, when you order one particular plant, you get three cups or six cups. You have to decide or pick which route you want to go. So you're automatically getting three of each. And then some of them I allotted for more. Okay, let me, what we'll do next is I'll cut the camera, bring it around, let you get kind of a, a close look at these and next we'll take them into the formal living room where the 40 gallon is and we'll start washing them and planting them. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's a better view of the plants that I have in this order and for right now this is all that I'm planning on putting in the 40 gallon like I said most all this stuff is going to be short um, I don't want a bunch of wild stuff growing everywhere in this tank who knows maybe down the road and like I said a lot of this I'm doing this part just for me uh, I've wanted to set up another tank and I've wanted to try some of these different things and I think myself and my family is going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it but I'm doing these videos on it and taking the time to record it and kind of give 
my thoughts and information stuff like that in hopes that the channel does grow and that eventually may make a few dollars to even pay for some of the things that I've bought and got going on so we'll just have to see how it goes but a lot of things in my videos are going to depend on it if I can grow the channel and get enough subscribers then I'm gonna just continue making videos if I do not then at some point then I'm probably gonna call it quits uh, I'll probably just my thoughts are right now some people say you know do it for a year and after a year if you haven't gone anywhere then chances are you won't so I think when I get to that year mark I'll reevaluate everything and see if I have enough subscribers to keep going with videos so anyway having said that I really appreciate everybody that has subscribed to my channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so it really does help out and really means a lot um, like I said I, I create a Amazon affiliate link program uh, basically if you don't make any money after 90 days of doing that then they close your account so I haven't made anything and my account closed and then all the equipment I've had to purchase the cameras stands lights uh, editing software all that type stuff I've got a lot invested in trying to do these videos and I've had zero return so just something to keep in mind I think you know having not known and even myself at one time I would just watch videos and I didn't think about what all it took to produce some of the videos and the money that went into it and I really didn't know how you know YouTube creators uh, made money now it seems to be based on uh, your subscriber base and views and that type of thing all of it kind of works together so you got to get the subscriber base up before you ever see a dime so help me out with that okay back to this um, I think that's you know you can probably see everything there hopefully you can see uh, the names of them I will let's try zooming in just a little bit there we go and as it focuses let me just move this around so you can see them a little bit better okay so now that you've seen all of them kind of see how they're shipped and how they come in then we'll go and get them prepped to start planning Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next segment. Okay, I kind of got everything all set up to get the plants out and rinsed off. Um, got a bowl of aquarium water, and I now I'm not saying you know there, I'm not saying I'm doing this the right way or the way that you should do it. Uh, this is just kind of the way that I've chosen to do it, and. I think it'll work I don't expect any problems here but we'll see okay so what I do and I've got a plate for each group or type and what we're gonna do is open them and rinse them off a little bit in the water put them on the plate and any of them that can kind of be I guess pulled apart then I'll work on doing that a lot of the videos that I've seen you can get a lot of plants out of each cup, but let's just see how it goes. This is my first time dealing with these. Okay, here's our first contender. And I'm hoping that it, my camera focuses so you can read that. And it does say on the back, uh, basically how to use the plant. Carefully remove the plants from the cup and wash off the growing media in clean tap water. Split the plant material into smaller portions if possible. You may need to use scissors. Use tweezers to plant your new plants and watch them grow. So those are our instructions. You know, the way they described it in the video, I thought it was like a, a gel in here, but it, it really 
just seems like it's I mean it's really thin it, it seems like water but I'm sure there's more to it than that okay let's see if we I don't know if this will pull apart in here not without damaging it let's see Seems like all the roots are kind of together, and I don't want to damage it, so... Looks like there's an initial, like, seed or something, maybe, where it stemmed from. Just kind of looking through it as I go, to just to... I know these are grown right, well, let's just I hope I don't damage it by cutting it this has you scissors if needed so let's just try cutting it in half and see what happens because I would kind of like to space them out a little bit uh, as I'm planting these so I'm going to try that and just see what comes of it. All right. Okay. Give it a quick rinse. And I do kind of talk to myself at times. Now this guy's coming apart on its own so that's good oh yeah we can get several out of this the other one it just seems like the roots were so tight together that it didn't want to come apart that came apart a few times And there's a little darker coloration, I guess. I don't know how well you can see it in the uh, liquid that's in there. So, I mean, I'm sure it's probably just some fertilizer or something like that. Let's see if this one comes apart at all. And I cut that one, but I think on the rest of it, I'm not going to really try to spend much time pulling it apart if it kind of doesn't want to come apart I'll just leave it the interesting part about these is that uh so I guess the way that they're grown in the cup is that the roots are coming out, but the roots are kind of wrapping around the bunch of plants itself. So, you know, being this, well, this being my first time dealing with this or setting this up or however you want to say it, um, it just makes me kind of fearful to cut because I'm not sure if I might, you know, cut in the wrong spot so that it won't grow. These are kind of pulling apart. We'll try that. Okay, like I said, I don't want to tug on it too much. I don't want to kill them. So that's what we have of those. Pretty cool little plant. All right, next. Oh, I forgot I got six of those. These are the same thing. Totally slipped my mind.
which that's a pretty often occurrence. As many of you know, I've recently started having some uh, some back issues. Well, not too recent. This has been going on for a few months. Um, and they said it was sciatica. So I've been kind of dealing with that. But um, for that, the doctor has written some prescriptions for me. And it's, uh, it's not just pain pills. Um, I think, what was it called? I'm bad with the names of it. There's one of them that slows down your nerve sensitivity. So since sciatica is basically, you know, it's a like a pinched nerve in your back, I guess, and it's caused me a lot of pain. So one of the things the doctor has given me for that, it, it deadens, not deadens, but it slows down nerve function is the best way I can describe it. So, having said that, um, your brain is a nerve. And that's how my doctor was explaining it to me. So it slows down some of your brain function, I guess, as well. And the difference that I've noticed while taking it is uh, I feel a little bit, you know, just scatter-minded at times or a little bit cloudy. Um, it's definitely, you know, kind of, it's more difficult for me to focus. And, uh, and I've just been kind of forgetful at times. So I know we're getting off subject here and just kind of rambling on, but I'm just, you know, talking a little bit while I'm getting these guys out. This one looks like it'll come apart. So yeah, I mean, I'm kind of ADD anyway, so I kind of get off topic at times. And if I do, I apologize. Um, but then adding that medication into the mix. Okay, so that's six pots. Adding that medication in the mix only makes it worse. So I just wanted to kind of let y'all know about that and kind of what's going on. Now this one actually does have some gel. Oh, this is the moss. This is the moss that's going to be our treetop. If I can get it to work. I'm not sure with it being moss if I can uh, yeah it's definitely like a jelly type substance I don't know if you can see that um, I don't know if I can get these to attach very well to the tree I mean I've seen videos of people doing it different ways um, I have seen people using zip ties, I've seen people using fishing line, and then you see people using glue. Um, the the main method I see is probably the glue, but uh, I don't know, you know, for the glue to stick, I'm sure I'll have to dry these guys out a little bit so the glue will work. So I'm not sure about that one yet. I haven't decided how I'm going to go about it, but I'll try to figure something out. We'll see. Okay, so let's see. We only had three of those. Be the top of our tree. That would be kind of cool. And these look kind of like uh, four-leaf clovers. I 
neat plant. And again, you know, it, the roots are all kind of intertwined here. So <laughs> I'm afraid to really pull them apart too much. Tug on a little bit. Let's see if I can break this up a little bit here without destroying it. Hopefully that survives. I, I broke it up a little bit, so we'll see. These cups are pretty nice though. I mean, it's nice just to be able to pop the lid off and do a quick rinsing. Um, the planted baskets, you know, nothing wrong with that route. Um, and I'm not complaining about it. It's just when you pull it out of the basket, then you uh, tear off that base or whatever it sits in and um, Then you plant it from there you do Kind of the same thing as pulling this apart. I mean you uh, Tear off a lot of roots within whatever that material is It's like a foam well, Let's try that and see I'm gonna uh, if these die, then you know why I'm actually tearing them apart. Because I want them a little bit smaller groups so I can put out somewhere. We'll see how that works. Okay. Let's see the next one. And I also, um, and they come always by the postal service so usually FedEx or UPS deliver everything that comes from Live Aquaria and they're always here you know they always deliver it early in the mornings um, but when you order plants from Aquarium Co-op uh, they ship United States Postal Service so they run whenever your mail runs so I have a couple other plants ordered from there and I expect to get those at about four o'clock a day. So overall, you know, the process here, we will uh, we'll get everything together, but I'll probably get all this stuff planted and just keep them uh, damp until the other plants come in. And another thing I uh, am especially scatterbrain today for the fact that I don't know what's going on but last night and the night before I, uh, I had a lot of trouble sleeping and I woke up a lot all through the night and I've been having some uh, some really bad headaches And I don't know if it's from the medications that I'm taking for my back, but I've been having here just recently, uh, started having some stomach cramps too. So that's probably not good. So 
So I actually, I was up most of the night last night. I just never could sleep. I, I was back and forth. I'd get a, either my head was hurting, my back was hurting, or my stomach was cramping. So I was tossing and turning all night. So I actually, uh, I called into work today and no, it wasn't just because these were coming in. Um, these, you know, being in the foam and all that stuff, they could have sat out in the garage till I got off work. So my intention originally was to get home from work and then open all these guys together at one time and uh, get them planted. But since I was so tired this morning and just feeling rough all in general, uh, I just used a sick day today. And then my intention was to uh, try to sleep in uh, for a while this morning. And uh, I tried to lay there and sleep for a while and I just couldn't, my head's been hurting. So I got up and on top of my pain medication for my back, um, I took some Tylenol on top of it. Uh, the doctor told me at times I was okay to do. So I added some Tylenol and then my headache started going away a little bit, but I just don't feel 100%. I'm not really up to par and uh, my head's still hurting. It's not nearly as bad, but it does still hurt. I think these like spread pretty quick. You can see they have like runners anyway. That'd be kind of cool for the little section that I'm putting them in. They can spread around. Hopefully it'll look pretty good. I like these because they um, kind of look like a grass mat, but they're, uh, they're, I think they get thicker and a little bit taller than the, um, what are those called? The little dwarf or mini, well, most people call them hair grass, but Elocarus maybe? That's what we're about to open next. So I'm going to do the whole foreground in this because it looks kind of like grass. You can, you know, pull this, you could probably pull this apart in really, really small pieces, I think, as long as they got a little bit of root left on them, but kind of leaving little bunches of it together. And like I said, I, I'm not saying I'm doing this right. I might be doing it all wrong. This is our mini hair grass. I'll leave that bunch in case I start killing off the rest of it. You never know with how much I'm splitting it up. I don't know if you know some of it's gonna die or make it or what. But I have six cups of this, so I mean it should spread a good ways.
break it in some larger bunches here. Maybe it'll have a better uh, better chance to survive. Let me know in the comments too, anybody else that's uh, using this stuff, the Tropica brand of plants and maybe even these type of plants and give me any kind of uh, advice or tips that you can. It's always great. I'm always, you know, I, I share the knowledge that I have with you, but um, we're undertaking a a new type thing here that I have no experience in until recently I just have started the past few months ago dealing with any kind of live plants but especially with this brand and some of these types it's my first time fooling with them so we're gonna see how they do and what we think of them as they grow and we'll also I shared on the initial video that on this tank I'm gonna run co2 and I'm curious to see you know how that works out it'll be my first experience ever using co2 so we are going to set that up as well and see if these things really grow better and look great with CO2. Everything I've seen in red points to yes, but then, you know, a lot of people just really point out that CO2 isn't needed. Then I've talked to people that, you know, they say, well, if you really want those dark greens or your plants really to stand out and look their best then it's probably better to run co2 so you know currently i don't know we're going to find that out together if you continue to follow my channel then you will see how that goes Okay, push this guy out of here. And this is the one potted plant that I'd ordered. And like I said, this is a narrow leaf chain sword. And I might be wrong on this. I'd have to go back and look. Um, I believe it says, I say this, well this stuff, it tears so many of the roots. Now, I'm sure I could take tweezers and really take some time and dig this off and do better but I don't know if it's just that I'm not that patient or it's kind of just a pain fool with this only thing against potted plants and some of these uh, Sometimes this stuff comes off easier than other times for whatever reason. I've done the same thing with uh, other plants that I've gotten. And sometimes it just pulls, or when I open it, it just pulls right off. I guess it depends on how dense the root structure is. And you might want to skip ahead in the video. You might already have, but I know this part isn't too entertaining. As I just try to pull some of this stuff off. And as I've seen in some videos too, it's, it's not crucial to get every bit of it off. You just want to get as much as you can off.
I don't know with this plant if I'll get any burn or die off. I've experienced that a little bit and like I've learned it just depends on how the plants are grown. Um, from what I've read and seen a lot of places that grow these plants they grow them just with the basket or the root system submerged in water and the top of the plant is out of the water and in reading and videos it says that's done because the plants grow faster that way but I have also seen videos where some people they grow them totally submerged and uh, and they just use CO2 and a lot of heavy fertilizer you know in a tank to try to really get them going All right. Well, I guess I have everything washed off and ready to go. So I'll set the camera up over at the tank the best that I can. Uh, it's going to be hard to get a good angle. The best angle, of course, is going to be in front of the aquarium. Well, I can't stand behind it or on the sides to plant everything. So I'm going to have to work around that. So I'm going to get you the best angle I can and lighting in this room isn't overly great. I do have a small little halo LED light. Um, it's not overly bright, but maybe it'll help out a little bit. So anyway, stay tuned and we'll start planting this stuff and go from there.